Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the oh my goodness, that's loud. Welcome to the Independent City Council meeting. It's Tuesday, the 10th of May at 7:30 in the evening. Let the record show that everybody's here except for Jerry Hoffman, uh, who's out, and uh, we hope he recovers soon. Uh, thank you. Um, council members, you have. Uh, First of all, you have your minutes from April 12th in front of you. Are they okay? much like we do with our capital city of Salem on the other side of the Willamette. After examining the relevant section of Gretna's code, several members of the striker group added some changes. However, much of the phrasing is taken directly from the municipal code of Gretna, which has committed to modifying its code, coding to become even more sensitive to residential areas in the next few years. The neighbors along Stryker have been canvassed, though not all could be reached. The overwhelming majority of those who responded strongly favor additions to the coding that increase aesthetic planning. We ask that you adopt the following addition to the code for the IH zone. The IH zone development should be located to maximize safety to citizens of the community and minimize infrastructure costs to local government. Building setbacks, buildings including outdoor storage yards, shall not be located closer than 25 feet from the street. A minimum front yard of 25 feet is required. On any lot abutting a residential area, the side yard shall be a minimum of 25 feet. A minimum rear yard of 25 feet is required. Screening requirements, offensive solid surface such as wood or stone or products deemed safe but which are formed or fashioned to resemble such materials, shall be erected as a site obscuring buffer. Side obscuring fence height should be a minimum of eight feet. Landscaping by berms, shrubbery, boulders, or sculpture that accomplishes the same screening effect may be substituted. There must be one large tree for each 15 feet of lot depth or width. We appreciate your time tonight and, and hopefully your consideration in this matter because we do feel very strongly about seeing this change made. So thank you. Forrest, do you want to? Oh, do I need to ask this question? No, no, that's what I was going to have. Forrest, did you want to share that there's a little bit of work in the group? Well, I, I can, or Victoria can, because oh, she's she, on the working group? she represents it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I don't represent the working group, but there okay. is some of us at um, along the Striker Road and in the air park, and I think Anne might know more about it, but that I understand that there's a committee being developed to, to work, right on to work with the city yeah. to do this, but we wanted to bring it to the attention of the city council. We understand that that's part of the process. 
and get the awareness made there for everyone and then start in the processing of making the changes so that's great that we don't see it i have to add personally right across the street this is why it's important to me a little too late for us um because not only does it affect aesthetically the view but we have two buildings right on the road with a fence a nasty looking fence across between them that's what we get to look at when we look, get outside and i don't think anybody in a residential area wants to see that unfortunately that's already there we can't change that i don't think they're going to tear it down and move it back for us so um we've decided that because there's a, a, you know development starting along the north end that it would be a good time to see if we could get this in effect so that those changes can be done for the rest of it and then Possibly the ones that are already existing could maybe add a few things to make it not look quite so ugly. Thank you for taking the time to come in. And uh, can, can, can you give Karen so she can have uh, a copy of She has oh, a copy. Okay, good. Thank you. I just wanted to make sure. Thank you for taking the time. Could, to I, could I ask? Oh. Uh, no. Talk to me. Sorry. I was going to turn. I don't know if I'm prepared for questions. She said turn off it. The, uh, when the work group is formed, can uh, we make sure the council gets informed when the meetings are in case we'd like to come and sit in? I'm thinking, of course, are you going to be part of that work group? I will be. Okay. So he would be your link to that? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we're a different topic. I don't want to take anything away from what Victoria said. Are you? Are you did you have another question? Marilyn? No. Oh, okay. So I uh, thank you for coming tonight. I appreciate you articulating um, what the community's needs are out there so well. You did a great job. And, and I think what we probably should do is have staff take a look at those things and, and then we can respond back, maybe come back to council and kind of give us some direction. But in addition to what Victoria has just described, there is a group of citizens um, along Stryker Road, and, and I believe it, it includes um, areas outside of the airport as well, who are starting to gather information on on different um, zones and um, industrial zones and other areas, and and um, and I think that can be a really positive process for the city to become involved in. Um, one of the things that's obvious, and I've mentioned this to the mayor and to, to others, is that. When you look at a map of our zones in the city, um, this is the, uh, the Stryker Road corridor is the largest area of residential industrial interface that we have in the city. And it really hasn't been an area that we've done much with because there hasn't been much development, but it's starting to develop now because the economy is improving. And so uh, it's a good time for us to take a look at the language that's in the zones, make sure that we're really um, kind of building the future that we want along that corridor, uh, because it, you know, it's a, it's a place that separates two incompatible uses, so we need to plan it well. So thank you for coming. Yeah, I think we should make them put pretty pictures on the sides of the buildings. <laughs> but you know, and, and in conjunction with all of that, um, I think another issue, but it will probably come into play as the the Stryker Road area is developed, is um, some of the road conditions, and I know that that's an issue all over the city but with the railroad track situation being what it is you practically have to stop to move over it if they're going to develop strike road something's going to have to be done with that fairly soon because it's going to there's going to be a whole lot more traffic and that's just not going to last we're going to be going through a gully before long so i don't know what the plan is for that down the road but we can bring that up another time there you go thank you very much for coming in appreciate it let's see is anybody else running to the microphone with I, if I don't see anybody, I'm going to keep moving forward. Under reports, um, it's uh, it's now time to uh, make an appointment to the Minot Board. It's a three-year term. Um, re I'm recommending, and there's no paperwork on this, uh, since we all know the current person, uh, I'm recommending that we reappoint uh, Mike Lodge to serve on the Minot Board. You need a motion for that? Uh, so moved. Not me. <laughs> <laughs> I have a motion. Second. I have a second. The motion seconds or discussion. Okay. All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. And opposed. Motion carries. Um, council members, uh, I think I mentioned to several of you, since you've had uh, a budget committee uh, this earlier this uh, 
this week and then last week, and then we had a, uh, a city council meeting at the high school, and we have a joint council meeting coming up the 31st, and there doesn't seem to be a list of uh, pressing topics. So without objection, the council our, our 7.30 a.m. Uh, second council meeting of the month, we'll still have the uh, joint meeting on the uh, 31st. Uh, without objection, we're gonna just do that. Okay, so yeah. I'm going to sleep in that extra half hour. There you go. Uh, Mr. Klein, I think you have the next report. Page. Thank you, Mayor and Council. I uh, apologize for the casual look. I was sort of struggling with the shirt and ties. <laughs> um, just a couple of things. One, uh, uh, for, for your business, Agenda. I don't know if it was noted yet, but the, uh, there's an action item at the very end. And you have a you have this deed in front of you as well. So um, short report since we've had the we just went through the study session. Um, we lost our planner from uh, Cog. It's unfortunate. Uh, he's an excellent planner. He went, he took it out on time off with a new baby and decided he also needed some more income, so he found another job opportunity, and so uh, we'll, they'll be, in the meantime, I believe Cog will be recruiting, and hopefully that will be somebody that provides a good fit for us as well. Um, Friday, if there's not on your calendar, is the, uh, the, the regular Latino Roundtable, and that's, uh, there's a pretty good speaker uh, coming to that to talk about immigration affairs, and I think there's one other item, but uh, anyway, that, that looked pretty interesting. Um, uh, the Sunday after this one is uh, is the third annual Festival Informativo. So that planning on that is going forward, and that should be uh, another good event. Okay, good. To see some quizzical looks. Okay, um, we are still working. Mike and I will be. Or I, I uh, well, Mike and I have been working with our our, our water rights engineer. Uh, we will be making a field trip uh, back out to uh, one particular industry that we've been talking to, uh, and I think we want to just talk about you know what is possible. Still, there's still there's some definitely some interest there. Um, and then finally, uh, we are still uh, we filed an applica application both uh, as a city, and then that, that there was a joint application for rare students to be uh, 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 placed and embedded in the community. And the one for the city, we are, we have uh, they're coming out to meet with us next week, so that looks promising that that may happen. So at least that's the next step in the process. I think they'll be meeting with the city with Ida. Anybody else? Uh, so there will be one meeting with uh, the city and Ida representatives and the, uh, there's actually another one who would, who would hopefully be working with the, uh, rural, the rural Tourism Studio group. And so the, 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 the uh, a two hour thing, one hour with the Ida folks and one hour with the, the tourism folks. But it'd be two separate pairs if we get them both. <coughs> so I have list of questions. I want to just make a, a comment and I wanted to thank you and your staff for uh, helping organize, not organize, but get things ready for the banner parade that's on Saturday at 10 a.m. at downtown, at the, uh, starting at the uh, plaza, right by the fountain, and there will be a banner parade where we'll be unveiling the new banners hanging from the light poles of downtown. There's actually gonna be a band going with us. So we will be a, we will be a parade that will march from place to place. Well, that's 10 a.m. on Saturday, right? Yeah. Natasha, Natasha's been helping put that together. Uh, staff have been helping, and you know the nice two banners. So thank you everybody for doing that. Okay, moving forward, we're going to uh, the bid award for the Hemlock Loop paving. I believe uh, Mr. Danko has that one. Please. Good evening, Mayor Council. Uh, Did a uh, casual look for me as well. I don't know a lot of walking wounded. <laughs> um, for, I'm here tonight to uh, present to you a, a video that we did uh, for Hemlock Loop. It's an asphalt overlay project. Um, these type of maintenance overlays are, are typically less than $50,000, and we use a fund exchange money with, uh, we're in the federal fund exchange program, although we're not 
and we use those funds for various overlays around town. Uh, Hemlock Loop uh, was built in the 60s and has never really had any kind of a um, maintenance overlay done to it. If you've spent any time driving through that neighborhood recently, you can see it's, it, it's in dire need. Um, one of the benefits we gain out of a project like this when it's large and inclusive and uh, will complete the entire street in the inning neighborhood like that. Typically you see people start painting their homes, fixing their fences, uh, this is just all of a sudden community pride. Um, and a recognition that the city really recognizes that, uh, that their neighborhood exists and is willing to put money and invest in the neighborhood. Um, so we uh, publicly bid this project as a public work project uh, because it was over 50,000. Project was bid on April first. It was advertised both in the local paper and the DJC, the Daily Journal of Commerce. Uh, bids were opened right here in the council chambers uh, at two o'clock on April twenty eighth. We received four bids. Uh, the low bidder was a local contractor, uh, Salem Road and Driveway. They've done work over this way and around the, uh, Mid Valley for thirty years now. Uh, they've done work in independence and we've worked with them on and off through the years. Uh, have no problem with their, uh, their abilities. Uh, the bid was $78,725. Um, pretty much what we expected it to be uh, based on the quotes we got earlier. Um, if you uh, attach to the memo, is the bid tabulation if you're interested in the other bids, you can see that they're very close, very tight. If awarded, the contract calls for them to be done by uh, June 30th, but realistically it's a one week project once they hold in. Uh, so um, I noted that the contract amount um, is a portion of our 2016 federal fund exchange uh, with ODOT, and um, if you have any questions about that, I can I could answer those for you. Otherwise, I gave you a suggested motion to go ahead and award the contract. And, um, Get the project done. Question for staff. Everybody okay? Very clear. Is yes, someone made the motion? Okay. I move to award the contract for the MLAP loop pavement overlay project to Sam Road and Driveway in the amount of seventy-eight thousand seven hundred and twenty-five dollars. Second. Motion second. Discussion. All fair signify say aye. 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 And opposed motion carries. Thank you very much. Thank you. And who is carrying the step three warranty deed? Happy to do the presentation on that. Thank you. So in front of you is the, form, the actual form of deed and uh, that the, the Independent Women's Club has in fact agreed to. They're sending a emissary, an emissary over tomorrow to actually sign this deed. We're required to accept the deed. So what I'm looking for from you tonight is actually a motion to accept the deed as presented uh, and authorize me to execute it. The, Deed itself will accomplish a couple of things that we were anxious to see done. One, there was a straight uh, a restriction on the use of the property, the old library that was always a little bit confusing in its language, and so this really clarifies what those limitations are and broadens broadens those limitations to an, uh, a little bit easier, uh, understandable uses for us, and we think consistent with the original grant of the deed. And that's to expand in addition to library purposes, literary arts and educational purposes for the benefit of the community. So I think that, you know, for instance, we've had the arts, you know, hack hack there doing the Ashby Art Center doing work. And while we thought that was perfectly allowable, you know, so long as there was a library purpose being honored, this clarifies that completely. The other <coughs> more yeah, another very important issue for members of the community is that uh, there was a lot of concern that if the women's club uh, you know, ceased its operations for one reason or another in independence that the property would then revert to the national women's club and take it out of local control altogether. The, the, uh, the body has agreed in fact to modify the deed and uh, to eliminate that possibility. So upon cessation of operations of the women's club under this new deed, the, the, the title of that property would vest fully in the city. And there'd be no further limitation on its use. So 
council. And that's that's the purpose of this deed. The club has, in fact, uh, and Council Lodge helped shepherd this through from, from the get go. Um, you know, has has agreed to this fully to you know to these changes. So that brings a lot of security and what was a the pending problem could have been a pending problem. Questions for staff? Is uh, Exhibit A the real estate description, and that's not attached? I take it. It refers to Exhibit A. Yeah, the description of the property. Oh, okay. If that's a legal description, we have that. Okay, and this is real property and structure. Yes. Yeah, this is great. Yeah, a lot, a lot of credit, a lot of credit has to go to Margaret Tomlinson for all her efforts in working with very difficult situation at the Women's Club because of the changing, you know, membership and whatnot. And I, this is the best of all possible outcomes. Great. I attended one meeting and I recognized just how challenge was going to be. Yes, so yes, I have too. She did a great job. She did a great job. That's good. Would you like to make the motion to approve the, uh, uh, what would be the correct Do I need a motion? Um, move to accept the statutory warning to even authorize the city manager to sign it on behalf of the city. Is that the motion? So move. Okay. <laughs> you got that? Second. I have a motion and a second by Tom. you have what you need here? Yes. All right. Is there further discussion? I want to compliment all parties involved in this. Yes. this has been a, a, a long time coming. Thank you very much. All in favor, say goodbye to say aye. 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 And opposed, motion carries. Thank you very much. Uh, are there council announcements before we go to the second session? Yes. Please. On May 20th, there is a home-based and small business fair at the Elks Club in their main lodge room from 2 to 6 p.m. There is table space available. It is only $15 for a table. And not only will you have a chance to uh, show your small businesses um, wonderful things that you're doing or selling or making or, or whatever you're doing with them, and, uh, but you also get educated because uh, Merritt will be there talking about several business topic, topics. We'll have an uh, insurance man there. We'll have uh, someone who's a specialist in QuickBooks and a number of other things. Sean will be there talking about business licensing. And um, you also will probably add a few words about independence landing. Great. Additional announcements? One more. Oh, excuse me. I'm oh, sorry. The 21st of May is Discover My Town that the Chamber is putting on. And as a Chamber board member, it's, um, I just wanted to make sure everybody knew that was available. Great. Okay. The Independent City Council will now be in executive session for the purpose of conferring with legal counsel concerning legal rights and duties regarding current litigation and litigation likely to be filed. In executive session pursuant to ORS 192. Point six six zero two H and the following city council meeting executive session for the purpose of negotiating a real property transaction pursuant to ORS one nine two six six zero two E. Representative of the news media designated staff shall be allowed to attend the executive sessions. Representative of the news media specifically directed not to report any of the deliberations during the executive sessions except to state the general subject of the sessions as previously announced. No decision will be made in the executive session this time. The council will adjourn the conference room for the duration of both executive sessions. Once both executive sessions have adjourned, we return to open session of the council chambers. Any decisions from either executive session will be delivered later this time.